I woke up and I had this this thought. I, I, I tried to go back to sleep, but it, it wouldn't go away. It won't go away. Oh, no, what thought? I don't love you. From Wondery, this is Secrets, Crimes, and Audio Tape, an audio drama told week after week. I'm David Reinstrom. What's your secret? Mine is that I'm allergic to water. Secrets, Crimes, and Audio Tape brings you some of the best new audio dramas from all over the world, and this week is no different. Today we start playing A Beautiful Spell by Greg Calaris, starring Bodie and Jenna Elfman. They play Franny and Jim, a New York couple who awake in the witching hour one night to discover that Franny no longer loves Jim. Hijinks ensue. Now, this episode contains a good amount of adult language and content, if you follow. So if you're around someone with sensitive ears, maybe hit that old pause button and come back to this podcast when they're not around. Also, if you just propose to your partner, or even better, if you're about to get married this weekend... I would suggest you save this episode for 10 years from now and skip to our next story. You're welcome. Is the coast clear? Good. Settle back and enjoy part one of A Beautiful Spell. Jim? Jim? Are you awake? Jim? Uh, I... Jim! Huh? Huh? What? What is it? What? Fran? Uh, hun, it's three in the morning. What are you doing up? Jim? Uh, um. Franny? Jim? Honey, what is uh, it? I'm scared, Jim. I'm, 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 I'm scared. What's wrong? I, I... Fran, is, is it... Is Jack okay? Jack? Our son, Jack, is he okay? I don't know. Fran? Yes? Fran? He's fine. I mean, I, I, I think he's fine. I assume so. Why? Are you dreaming? Franny? What? Are you sleepwalking? No. Are you sure? No, I mean, yes, I'm awake. I'm awake. All right, well, damn it, you're freaking me out. It just doesn't... It doesn't make sense. I just... I can't... I can't. It doesn't just... Franny, slow down, all right? Just stop pacing and just... I woke up and I had this... This thought... I, I, I tried to go back to sleep, but it, it wouldn't go away. It won't go away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What thought? I don't love you. What? I don't love you, Jim. I don't. I don't understand. Honey, what are you talking about? I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't feel love for you. And I'm terrified. I, do you understand? Do you? Kind of. Where are you going? I'm, I'm just going to go to the bathroom and splash some water on my face. Just... I, I, I woke up and... And I looked at you. Fran. I looked at you. It was dark. And I felt alone. I, I can't hear you, Fran. Hold on. Okay. 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 Do Chinese people look American when they wake up, Jim? You know, I, I thought you were a fucking prowler standing there like that. It scared the shit out of me. Jim. Just a second, okay? Let me just catch my breath. Okay, now, first, let's take a deep breath, okay? A little deeper. Good, okay, now, let's start this again. I don't love you. Let's start a little earlier. I think I'm having a panic attack. You don't look like you're My having a panic attack. My ears are hot. Okay. And I can't stop shaking. You don't look like you're shaking. Will you stop arguing with me? I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry. Now... Without saying... I, Jim, I don't... Without saying you don't love me, without using those words, try to explain to me as clearly as you can what is going on. I don't know. Try again. I woke 
up. It was dark, quiet. I looked around, and it was so quiet. Okay. I felt alone. I've never felt so alone. That happens to me. It does? Wake up in the middle of the night, you have a panic? Yeah. Yeah, sure, it's late. You're half asleep. You're susceptible. In the middle of the night, the rest of the world seems frozen in time. Yes. That's when the bad thoughts slip in. It is? Yes, you feel like the only living person. It's scary. Yes. It's called a night terror. Very common. I have them all the time. So, so you're saying this will all go away in the morning? Yes. So tomorrow I'll wake up and love you again? I don't think it's that you don't love me. You're just having anxiety. I mean, it could just as easily be about work or Jack or, or anything. Your brain is caught between sleep and, you know, wakefulness. You're feeling stress and, and you're tired and your brain, right? Your brain is, is trying to find a, a scapegoat. Why do you keep talking about my brain like it's sitting in the chair beside me? Uh, listen, I, I'm saying you wake up, you look at me, you're feeling this, this stress, honey. You make the connection. How horrible it would be if you didn't, but whatever. And you think it and it becomes true for that moment. I have it all the time. You do? All the time. So, I still love you? <laughs> well, I, I hope so. How do you know? Because, honey, we love each other, right? Right. Yes, it's the logic of our lives. It always has been. It always will be. Look at me, Fran. It's me, Jim. It's Jim. Mm-hmm. Now let's go back to sleep, okay? <sighs> Franny? Fran, are you... I woke up, and I looked over at you, and I saw your face. You were sleeping, and I saw your your stupid face. I, I saw it, and I looked at it. Your mouth was open. You were breathing through it with your face, and that stupid look, and your chest, and your stupid pajamas, and I thought, I don't love this person. I feel nothing for this person. Is that what happens to you when you wake up in the middle of the night? No. I generally like your nightwear. Jim, I'm scared. Well, don't I... be, okay? It'll pass. What if it doesn't? What if I don't love you anymore? Fran, Fran, you're, you're, you're pacing again, sweetheart. Listen to me, okay? Honey, honey, you love me. I do, don't I? Yes, and I love you. Right. We say it all the time. And we're not like other people. We mean it. Yes, we don't just say it to say it. No, we mean it because it's true. We're not like those other couples. We're Jim and Franny. We've yes. been married for 12 happy years in love. We fit, remember? We complement each other. Yeah, that's right. We do. I'm the pragmatic one. You're the spontaneous one. We have a child named Jack whom we love collectively. It's been the logic of my life. Now, let's go back to bed and I'll try sleeping on my side. Oh my god. What? Uh, my ears. What, hot? They're cold. They're cold now? They're freezing. Well, here, let now me... Get your stupid hands away from me. <gasps> oh god, I don't know why I just said that. I, I, I love your hands. I've always loved these hands. They were the first thing I noticed about you. Did you know that? I saw you standing there with your friends at that place, remember? Uh -huh. And I said to Leslie, I said, Les, check out his hands. He has musician's hands. You were so disappointed when I said I was a claims adjuster. They've gotten me through so much, these hands. The night my mother died, they stroked my hair all night. Through my cancer scare that whole disgusting week, my hands were never empty of them. They got me through Jack's birth. They're good hands. I don't know what I would have done without them. I look at them now and I think these are the stupidest hands I've ever seen. God, Jim, you have to help me. I'm trying. Well, how can this happen? How can it just go away? It can't. It didn't. I can't not love you. It's all I know. You love me. Hey, hey, Fran, Fran, look at me, okay? <sighs> We're going to figure this out, okay? Now, let's think about this rationally. <sighs> okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, all right. Now, you say you woke up and, and suddenly you didn't love me. Now, is that what you're saying? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. All right. And before that, last night, before you went to bed, you were fine, right? I think so. Okay, yeah. yes. Now, we're getting somewhere. We are? Yes. Okay. Now, what did you eat last night? Uh, I ate what you ate. The... the leftover risotto. Okay, and then what? Walk me through it. Uh, after the risotto? What did you do then? Uh, I did what I do every night. I graded a few tests. 
organized my lesson plan for the kids. Then we came upstairs. That was about 11. Yeah, I got ready for bed, brushed my teeth. I flossed. Do you usually floss? Well, lately, I've started to make an effort. Hmm. Okay, okay. I brushed my hair. I turned off all the lights. I took my melatonin. Your what? It's an herbal sleep aid. Well, since when do you take a sleep aid? For about three years. You never told me that. Okay, sorry. Go on. I got in bed. I read a few pages of my book. Fell asleep. And when I woke up... I was stupid. Oh, God, Jim. Uh, okay, honey, we're going to figure this out, all right? Every problem has a solution, right? Look at me, Fran. Fran, do you trust me? Of course. Do you love me? Sorry, just testing. Okay, okay, so uh, uh, risotto, papers, toothbrush, floss, still not stupid, right? Lights, melatonin. Melatonin. Melatonin, bed, book, woke up. You think it's the flossing? So you went to bed, you, you woke up, you looked, you looked over at me, and then... I don't feel it, Jim. Hmm? I don't feel it. I'm so sorry, but I don't. I don't know why. How could it just go away like that? I mean, how can it just disappear? I'm trying to feel it. You have to believe me. I'm, I'm trying to make it come, and it just won't. The feeling won't come. Franny, is there something you're not telling me? Like what? I don't know. Something. Maybe you're afraid to tell me something about us? I don't understand. Are you in love with someone else? <sighs> what? Is that what you're trying to tell me? That you've met someone else? What, like another man? Yes, sure, like another man. But where did you get that idea? Where did I get that idea? Y you stand over the bed in the middle of the night like Jacob Marley and tell me you don't love me anymore. <laughs> I'm not, okay? You're the only person I love. Well, this doesn't just happen, Fran. I know. Well, there has to be a reason, Fran. You don't just wake up one don't night. Don't you think I know that? I put everything into this marriage. It's everything that I am. You are my life. I don't know how to think without you in my head. It's the only thing I know, and I don't know what I'm going to do if that suddenly goes away. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Shh. It's okay. Come here. Come here. God, Jim. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. It's... It's okay. Are you on drugs? What? No. Well, what about the melatonin? It's not a drug. It sounds like a drug. Well, it doesn't really work. It just... I just take it as a placebo. Well, how do you take something as a placebo? Because it makes me feel like I'm taking a but drug. But you said it doesn't work. Part of me knows it doesn't work, but the other part of me pretends that it does. What part am I talking to now? Jim, please! Well, this isn't easy for me either. I know, but I need you to be strong. I need you to get me through this. You're my rock. <laughs> I'm your rock? Well, who else would be my rock? So you don't love me, but I'm still your rock? Yes! Yes! That's a good sign, isn't it? Is it me? Is it something I did? Something you're not thinking about? No! I mean, uh, I don't think so. You don't think? Well, f sure, there are things you do that annoy me, like any relationship. I mean, you can be annoying, but I don't think that's what this is. How am I annoying? Oh, I don't know. In a general type of way, you know, annoying. No, like how? I don't know. Like, when you laugh at your own jokes. That can be annoying. I don't do that. You probably don't realize it. What are you talking about? Like you'll be doing something, cooking, or I don't know, getting dressed, and you'll just go, hey, hey, hey. That's me? You're doing me? Well, you have some thought, and you go, hey, hey, hey. Like you've just come up with the funniest thing in the world. I used to ask what it was, but you'd just say, oh, no, it's nothing. <laughs> Jesus, that's really annoying. But I don't think that's it. What else? I don't know. Lots of things. Lots of things? Well, little things. It's not a big deal. Well, give me one more. Jim. One more. You hate not knowing things. Who likes not knowing things? Yes, but sometimes it can be with you sometimes. It's like when we were in Paris. Remember Paris? I remember Paris. Well, you couldn't stand not knowing the language. You had that phobia that everyone there hated you for being a typical American tourist, and it drove you crazy that I knew enough French to get around. So sometimes we'd be at dinner, and I'd order my food in French. I'll have this and that. 
And then the waiter would turn to you, and you would want so badly to seem like a native that instead of speaking French, you just did a French accent. And because you're not great at accents, it came off like Chico Marx. I'll uh, have uh, the glass of a Dame Merlot, uh, s'il vous plaît. Uh. You probably didn't even realize you were doing it. Jim, honey, don't, don't get upset. That's not why I don't love you. Oh, good. Just uh, forget I said it. It's not a big deal. It's endearing. It sounds annoying. It's both. Jim... Are you not attracted to me anymore? Well... I know you're not now, but before. Before tonight. Sure. I, I'm, I mean, not like crazy attracted to you. Not like I used to be. But I don't think that's it either. Jesus. Jim, you have to understand. I don't like this. I want to be in love with you. I want to go back to how it was. Oh, you mean back when I was really annoying and you weren't crazy attracted to me? Wait, where are you going? I need a drink. Don't leave me, please. Franny, from what I can gather, after 12 years of marriage, you've discovered you detest me. N now you don't want me to leave? You're the only person I can talk to. What? I don't have anyone else to turn to. Do you have any idea how crazy that sounds? Yes, that's what I want. Tell me how crazy it sounds. Tell me that it doesn't make sense. I'll listen to you. You're the pragmatic one. Tell me I'm being insane the way you always do. Tell me that if I just go back to bed, it will all be okay in the morning. Go on. Tell me. Yeah, I tried that, remember? That's when you said my mouth was stupid. No, your face is stupid. Well, I'm glad we cleared that up. Wait, Jim, don't go. You, you know, you bought me these fucking pajamas. I know. What, what do you want, huh? You, 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 you want me to comfort you? You, you tell me you don't love me anymore, and I'm supposed to just what? Counsel you through it? People just don't fall out of love overnight. It's a long, drawn-out, miserable process that takes years to come to terms with. There's a weaning process. Months or a year of distance, and, and then that turns into indifference and then resentment. And by then, the other party has had some time to adjust to the idea, time to accept it, maybe even resent them back. So they can say when their friends ask, well, we haven't been happy for a long time. They don't just go to sleep one night and, You're and, right. and, and, and then wake up suddenly. It doesn't and, make sense. We, we have a child. I know. A, a six-year-old boy in the other room. Exactly. We share a life, a routine, an interior design aesthetic. And you're telling me suddenly, out of the fucking blue, that you don't feel it? It doesn't make sense. You're right. Stop agreeing with me. Jim, this is as much of a shock to me as it is to you. Maybe, maybe it's just like you said. The night is when the bad thoughts get in, and then the sun comes out, and the world moves again, and everything goes back to the way it was. And what if it's the other way around? The world stops and you have time to think for once. The things you have, out of context. What if this is the only time you've been truly honest with me? Don't say that. Are you going to leave me? I hope not. I don't want to want to. Exactly what did it feel like to love me? What did it feel like? The feeling you're not feeling now. What did it feel like when you felt it. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you like it. No, this is good. This line of questioning, this this gets to the root of it. Keep going. With what? It's your turn. Oh, right. Okay, uh, what did it feel like? Um, well, I, I mean, it felt... To love you felt... It felt... I mean, I don't... I don't know the exact... Uh, okay, new rule. When one of us wakes up in the middle of the night and tells the other they no longer love them, that person is not allowed to answer a question with, I don't know. No more, I don't know. I remember times. Times? Well, I remember that night we were walking through Dumbo. Remember that at night and we got lost? I remember feeling like... Like... Like, like, like what? what? Fucking what? Like I, like I couldn't hold you close enough. And I remember... The night we decided to have Jack, that night I thought, ah, oh, this is the life I want. And it felt so good and, and safe. And I felt warm all over. Remember, you weren't sure we were ready to have kids, but I wanted nothing more than to make a life with you. And last night, before going to bed? I didn't think about it. Well, what exactly were you wanting to feel, Fran? Giddy? Uh, a weak need? 
We've been married for 12 years, all right? Love is not a constant state of euphoria. What is it then? It's history. It's loyalty, complicity. It's eating leftover risotto. It's little Jack in the other room. I mean, I don't want to upset you, but I don't swoon when you walk into the room or etch your name on my desk at work, <laughs> all right? And, and when you call, sometimes, and this will really blow your mind, sometimes I screen the fucker. You screen my calls? If I'm busy. Well, what if it's important? You'll leave a message. Well, what if it's urgent? What if I'm in the hospital? You'll call back. I don't believe you. You just told me you don't love me anymore. Why? Well, but I answer your calls. Well, aren't you wife of the fucking year? You fart in your sleep. What? That's another annoying thing you do. It's like you're constantly deflating. You're making that up. Oh, no. I hear a little squeak, and when I open my eyes, it looks like Bugs Bunny tunneling his way to Albuquerque. <sighs> this is it? This is your reason for not loving me? No, it's the reason I take melatonin. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Mm. What was that? I wanted to feel it again. I, th I thought if I could just remember what it felt like to love you like that, that, that warmth, I thought maybe it would come back. Did it work? No. I was thinking too much. You want to try again? Okay. <sighs> Nothing. Me neither. What? I, I didn't feel anything. Well, that can't be. It, it was like I was kissing another version of myself. Oh, God, it's contagious. It, it's like you're not a sexual being all of a sudden. Just, just a head with a face and lips. I'm a what? This doesn't make any sense. No, wait, Jim. I, I don't understand. Jim, you can't do this. Why don't I feel anything? Let's try again. What do you... Stop that! Get off! Well, you have to love me! But you don't love me! But I might be dreaming! You said you were awake. It was one theory. I don't like this. Your pacing... This is... This is not... This is not right. Is it your ears? My teeth. They're tingling. God, what the fuck did you do to me? I don't know! Damn it, there has to be a reason for this. I, I love you, and you, and you love me. Yes! And, and we say it all the time. And we mean it. I don't know anything it's else. It's the logic of our lives. Shut your stupid fucking face! Oh, God, I didn't mean that. I, I, I don't even know why I said it. I, I, I love this face. I do. I, I used to wake up in the middle of the night and just stare at it. You don't know this, but sometimes when you're sleeping, I close your nose. You what? You look so peaceful, and I'll just pinch your nose closed just to watch you make that proper aerobic adjustment. Why? Because it breaks my heart every time you'd finally go... God, you look tired. It's four in the morning. No, it's more than that. Your eyes, they look so old. Fuck you. I'm sorry, you're right. I, I don't mean that. I love your crow's feet. My what? They're your crow's feet and your saggy breasts. I, I, I love them. Saggy breasts? Not to me, they're not. To me, they're perfect because I love you. I love you. Don't I? You're asking me? Fran, please. We have to fix this. Well, how can I fix anything? I'm just a head with a face and lips. I don't even have a torso. I don't even have a fucking vagina. Oh, we have to go back to sleep. Sleep? Are you crazy? When you loved me, you used to hold my nose closed. Who knows what you'll do now? No, 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 no. You, you don't you see? Things changed when we woke up. They, they, they were fine, and then we, and then we woke up, and they changed. Right? That was our mistake. So we have to go back to sleep. It's the only way to fall back in love. <sighs> Jim, we can't sleep forever. And that, folks, was part one of A Beautiful Spell, right here on Secrets, Crimes, and Audio Tape. Stay tuned for scenes from the next episode of A Beautiful Spell. They say it all the time, couples. They try to bring variety into their marriage by being other people. Role-playing. Role-playing. Right. I'll be someone, and you'll be someone. We'll pretend. If you like the show, tell your friends about it. Please subscribe to it and give us a good review on iTunes. Most people don't know what an audio drama is, so we are trying to spread the word. You can help. Also, we would like to know more about you, so if you could please complete a small survey at wondery.com survey, I'd be very grateful. But I call we can't be people we know. You mean like I would ask you to be Leslie or something? 
Yes, like that. What did you think of today's episode? We want to hear from you. Please send an email to secrets at wondery.com and hit us with a tweet. We're at Secrets Crimes or at Wondery Media. Yeah, no, definitely. Okay, so okay, so how do we begin? Fran? Why did you say that? Leslie? Why did you, what was that? Well, it was just an example. Well, it was pretty quick. We shouldn't be people we know. You mean like Leslie? I mean, you had that example pretty handy. If you were listening with headphones, did you notice how all the actors were moving around you? That sound design is a very special feature of all audio dramas produced by Wondery. A Beautiful Spell was written by Greg Calaris and directed by Martin Jarvis for Jarvis and Ayers Productions. Fran was played by Jenna Elfman and Jim by Bodie Elfman. Editing was by Mark Holden. The theme song was composed by Mark Hadley. The executive producers for this podcast are Jeffrey Glazer and Hernan Lopez for Wondery. This is Secrets, Crimes, and Audio Tape. What's your secret?